Hi folks, welcome to the channel. This is DoorDash Sucks here on YouTube. And if you are new to the channel, could you please take a second to pause the video, hit the like button, the subscription button, and the notification bell so you won't miss any more videos when I post them. I really appreciate that. And I want to thank each and every one of the subscribers who are already subbed to this channel and all the new ones that have come on in the past couple of months. And, uh, you know, the, the channel's growing slowly. Um, and I'm trying to get the word out there about everything that's going on in the uh, the gig community, you know. And this this has to do with basically all the apps, folks. Um, because what I do here, this my, what my channel is mainly focused on, is exposing the fraud, the lies of the gig app community, the 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 ones we work for. You know, we don't work exactly for them. But we, you know, they call us independent contractors, right? Or we're partners. But are we really partners? You know what I mean? So <laughs> it, it's, it's, all, it's all legal jargon or illegal jargon to get us to just put in our minds like, oh, yeah, we have some independence, you know, because we can come on. You know, yeah, we can, we can pretty much dash pretty much any time we want with a schedule for regular people. But. They only really let certain things happen for people who are in a higher tier, and that's a uh, higher tier um, bracket within these apps. And uh, even though, well, actually, Uber has the same thing. Uber has the blue, the gold, the diamond, the platinum. And I was all of them, folks, at one time. And when I became, when I became a diamond... I was able to see trip, you know, trip uh, information, and I was able to, you know, choose which ones that I wanted to take, which I didn't want to take. But it's funny how within 10 declines or 15 declines of those, it starts dropping you into another tier. And I don't know how the system is now because I haven't really, I, I do not go after that type of system, folks. I, I just don't do it. But I, I, what today's video is about is really kind of letting you know what's going on the past couple of days. Um, first of all, I haven't put any videos out since Friday. I have a few that I that I need to put out, but I have to like slightly edit them because uh, whatever background noise, whatever was going on in some of the videos. So I have to take my time doing that. A lot of times I record a few days in advance uh, when I have some downtime. But then I get busy and then I can't upload the, the, the video. So forgive me for that. But what I want to tell you about the past couple of days. So I had, you know, a lot of time to think about a lot of things. And, you know, I, I'm still going to form an alliance or some type of thing to be able to take these, these uh, app companies to court. But I want to do it in a diligent, proficient way, in a way in which is going to benefit the, the the whole community because, you know, I, obviously a couple of my, um, my posts, I was kind of angry in there, you know, of course I was because of what was going on with me. And I fully intend to take them to court, uh, these app companies, the ones that are wronging me, uh, but I want to do it for the community too as well because all of you are being affected in the same ways or in similar ways. And each market is a little bit different but uh, it's, it's pretty much all the same. And all of the other app companies all kind of follow suit, okay? So I don't like being an employee, and I don't really like oversight by the government or anything like that. But there has to be regulations put in place uh, because if there isn't, it's just going to go crazy, the whole, the whole system. And it's been going crazy. Now, what I've been seeing the past couple of days two or three days now is like see i want to ask you folks something do you think my my standards are too high i mean i'm sure some of you will say yep they're too high you should just take less orders and all that you know i i was cutting off a lot of one-to-one -one miles you know eight miles for eight dollars and things like that with one item you know there's this some that i still will not take right but i did lower my standards a little bit over the past couple of days 
And what I've noticed, and it's not like I've taken 275s and 325s. I refuse to take them. But I was taking ones that I normally, like, don't take. Like, $5 going, $5 going two miles, which I hate them. But in a way, the system, see, the algorithm is set up in such a way that if you decline... If you decline even a few orders, it starts looking around for other dashes who are higher tiers, and then it gives it gives it to them. And I'm not just talking about 50% tiers and 70% and higher. I'm talking about even if you're 30, 40, 40%. If you're a 10 percenter, which a lot of you are, and I was, and I still kind of am, but that's my problem. I was sitting around a lot, not moving, right? Now, UDM did his video series a few weeks ago, whatever, two and a half weeks ago, on the algorithm, talking about how no matter what you do, it's going to really just try to find you orders that are going to equal up to basically that $20 an hour position. And that, that's usually for the ones who are regular dashes. Then you have the, the top dashes, or you have the... the uh, you know, large order program dashes, okay? And the thing with the large order program dashes um, is that if you have been in that program, the company is still catering to you. <laughs> they, they will give you larger orders. I am not in the large order program. I was trying to get into it, and I couldn't really get into it because I've been work trying for two months. And every time I call, it's always... Oh, we have to talk to a higher tier specialist, and he's he'll get he'll get back to you. I even got an email back telling me they were looking into it. Never did they put me in that program. If they do put me in it, I'll let you guys know. Um, but I feel like we're all being discriminated against. The people who, you know, I've been I've been dashing for almost two years, just about two years now, and uh, I deserve to be in that program. I've made DoorDash a lot of money. I'm sure some of you made even more money for them. But what money have you made? Now, here's the thing. A lot of you can say, hey, I'm making $300 a day. Or some of you can say that. Because you lowered your standards or you just didn't think there was nothing wrong with it because, you know, you're like, well, I have to do something. I have to make money. Well, it's, it's terrible that the system has been set up the way that it has been set up. Because it's designed now for that 50% and 70% tier. Now, with that said, the other night when I started dashing, I think, yeah, it was Friday night into Saturday. I decided to, I was right around, let me see, 28%. I was at 28%. And I was just barely getting orders, and I'm and I'm bumping into people going, "Hey, how much you making today?" And he's like, "Oh, 170, 150." Another guy, you know, a friend of mine, Walter, great guy. He's he's booking like 250 dollars a day or more. But I asked him, "Are you are you a top dasher? Do you take everything?" He says, "No, I, I I'm at 40 percent." But he's in the large order program, and then he says, "Well, you have to know which ones to take, what not to take." Now, you can decline. I mean, first of all, folks, again, I will not take the really low ball offers. I just won't do it. If it's two bucks, two twenty five, two seventy five, three twenty five, I I possibly now will probably take maybe four twenty five, four fifty. Because what they're doing is they're they're not gonna reward you with orders if you're not gonna take some of the lower orders, even if they only have a dollar tip. Or two dollars in them. Now earlier, interestingly enough, this is a Sunday when I'm making this video, and um, I took a four dollar add-on, which I never take stacked. But I was like, you know what? It's eleven twenty-five going, I think four point seven miles, and I had a, an order from like Panera Bread, and then they added in a four dollar um, Franklin. Um, I'm sorry, a four order. Uh, Papa Gino's order in there and 
you know, it was a pizza and a two liter of Pepsi or whatever. So I knew one of them was going to have like either no tip or very low tip. And the other one was going to be like half decent. So I picked, I mean, they were right next to each other. So I picked up the Papa Gino's, I picked up the Panera Bread, and then I, I jumped to task. You can do that when you have an order. There's a way to go up to the three dots to the right, hit that and jump to task, and you can change who you drop off to first. I probably, sh well, when I say I probably shouldn't have dropped off the Papa Gino ones first, because that was the one that had no tip in it. Now, however, I didn't know that, but when I got to the person's house, the lady came to, came to the door. I could hear her inside telling her, like her son or her daughter, hey, go grab my purse. I need to, you know, so she was going to like, I figured she was going to give me something. And that's cool, right? So, and that's exactly what she did. I came, dropped the... I came to the door, dropped the uh, delivery off, and then she handed me a $5 bill. And I was like, oh, thank you, Cheryl. Her name was Cheryl. And I said, I really appreciate it. And she smiled, and thank you so much, and have a nice day. I go to the car, I hit the delivery thing. It comes up as $4. It was $3. It was $1. Listen to how crazy this is. It was $2. It was $2 base pay. It was $1 peak pay. And it said no tip, no tip in there, okay? And, but she gave me five bucks, so that made up for it, right? Now, my estimation or my guess is the lady probably felt guilty because she's, when, you know, they, these people could see you when they're, when you're coming up, pulling up to the house, they're looking out their windows and everything to see who you are or whatever. And I don't pay any attention to that. I just focus on the door and I put the food down and take the picture or I, whatever the directions say, if it says knock on the person's door or hand it to me. And that was, it was a hand it to me order. So the people, they were nice. And, um, I think what she felt is Jesus, here's this guy, you know, in his, you know, forties or whatever, coming to the door and, uh, I can't really stiff him. She probably felt guilty. So that's why I got the five bucks. So anyway, so then I moved on. And so what I've been doing is pretty much taking orders that I normally don't take because there's some days where I'm like, you know what, I'm not taking anything if, unless it's $10, right? And I guess what's happening is I'm screwing my own self because if you decline, even if you decline three or four or five orders, they, they basically, DoorDash puts you in a quiet timeout and says, okay, go in the corner and you know, sulk in the corner over there while we're giving these other orders to people because obviously you don't want them. Then there's the one where you do 10 orders decline in a row and then they punish you even a little bit more because now you have to wait. You, you'll you sit probably an entire hour within the time that you've declined it to the time that you may get another one, okay? That's in my market anyways. It may be different where you are. Now, all, all the while, I have the Uber app going in the background. And, I mean, in my area, folks, Uber is horrendous for Uber Eats. It is. It's just horrendous. I, you, they don't even give you a break. It's all way longer miles than the money. And then even when something comes through that you think is going to be half decent, it's like a one-to-one. -one. So it's, or it's eight mi $8 for nine miles, right? Now... Again, people would say, well, there's probably a hidden tip in that one. Uh, there could be, because supposedly, you know, after $8, $8 there's hidden tips. But how do we really know that? They, they could be hiding them in $3 orders, $4 orders. But I don't really take the chance with Uber. And I've never went out and did Uber as a main app, except when I was ride-sharing. And I kept DoorDash. I mean, at one point, I, had, I didn't even do DoorDash for a while when I was doing Uber, because I was like... You know, it seemed like I was making more money with Uber, but I wasn't because when I had to pay the gas, that's what it all comes down to. It's like, what are you taking home at the end of the day? Okay. So just to reiterate on what's going on, folks, I guess like here's the problem. I, you know, I need to make money because I need to pay my rent, my bills like we all do. So I'm going to have to take orders that I normally don't accept just and i'm not compromising i'm still gonna i mean i still am gonna be in the fight i still have to try to get things going in behind the scenes with the court stuff but i need to survive 
So, like, if I normally wouldn't take, say, a 575 going, you know, four miles, and I decline them, I'm, I'm probably going to start taking them because I believe the algorithm is seeing who is taking more of the orders and their fa and the algorithm is favoring the people who have who have a higher percentage rate and i don't even think that it matters that it's 50 or 75 i think that anyone who's in the lower brackets like if you're doing 10% 12% 15% or even under 20% i think that the algorithm is actually putting us people who are doing that on the bottom of the list. Oh, they'll still send you an order here and there. But then but they are apt to send the order to someone who has who's going to take an order, who's going to say, "Hey, this guy's going to take the order." But does that mean that you have to take a no-tip order or a really long distance one? No. You could still decline them, but I was declining a lot of orders, folks. Now I'm starting to not decline and I'm seeing a little bit better results. But it's it's nothing great, but at least, you know, at least it's something. It's it, and so and I'm also testing it right now. I'm at like forty eight percent at this current time. I'm gonna try to get over to over fifty percent because I want to see if that makes a difference in that bracket at fifty percent. Like to see if they're gonna send me any larger orders. Okay, I'm not going for seventy percent. Uh, no way. Uh, however, if orders come in that make sense and they're, and they're not going to, you know, they're just not ludicrous orders, yes, I'll take them. And if it ends up getting me to 70%, yeah, I'll, I'll do it. But I'm not going to compromise and take no tip orders when I know there's no tip on it. I'm just not going to do that. See, what I was doing, folks, and maybe you were too, was I was even avoiding the ones that I knew were only had a two or three dollar tip in there, okay. And and even though they are low ball and they suck, and even the five dollar ones, I guess if we don't take them, you're gonna go, you're gonna starve and you're gonna go broke. I mean it's it's is it's really the bottom line. And so I want to ask you guys and gals, do you think I'm wrong for doing that, or do you think that I should? You know, I got to not that I got to do what I got to do, because I'm not a guy who compromises and goes along just to get along. But um, it's not like I'm taking every order. I'm not I'm not a top dasher and I don't want to be never, never. And most of you don't want to be right. But am I wrong for doing what I'm telling you or should I just kind of grin and bear it, take the ones and not be so hot, super high standard like I am? Because you could hit the decline button all day, but what's going to be in your in your wallet at the end of the day, right? So, you know, and I, I even had a few people comment like a couple of weeks ago. One guy says, you know, I'm going broke. I'm losing my apartment. And uh, sorry if you hear my cat in the background. Say hi, bye-bye. Say hi. <laughs> so... He says I'm losing my apartment and everything, and uh, I'm, I'm I'm I have to I have no choice. I have to quit, and I'm getting another job or something like that. And I I just felt bad, you know. I I don't want to see people do that, folks. So I just we 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 still have to go after these companies for trying to get everyone to do conform to a certain way. That what they're doing is discrimination. What they're doing is illegal. Don't think that it's not. See, just because things are becoming normal to people and normal to everyone does not mean that it's not illegal. What they're doing is illegal, and we need to still expose these companies. However, if this is your only form of, um, you know, income, you need to put you need to put food on the table. You need to pay the bills, right? So, I just wanted to um, get some perspective here and some comments from people and what you think. And, you know, I know there's certain people that, you know, I was so adamant, folks. I was like, I'm not taking this. I'm not doing that. And then I'm seeing nothing coming through. I'm going, why am I not getting? And then I'm talking to other dashes and they're like, yeah, I'm making 170 today, 100, 200, right? I'm like, how the hell are you making 200 bucks? I haven't made it. And now I know the reason why. Because the algorithm, folks, has 
changed. It's not what you think it is. It's not even what I think it is. It's probably way worse than I'm even telling you. So what I'm saying to you is not to take fully trashed orders, but we're going to have to take some of those bad ones in order to get some good ones, okay? Um, and a shout out to my friend Pat because he's going to be probably listening to this because my friend, he told me that uh, he, he kind of tested my theory after I told him what was going on, and he said, geez, I seen, I seen the difference. He, seen, you know, he, he took one that wasn't really good, but it was only going down the street, or one that he normally wouldn't do. In other words, if it says 425 or 450, and it's only going to point four, I mean 1.4 miles, right, and I normally decline them, I think I'm going to have to start taking them because you know why, folks? It'll keep us rolling. It'll put money. You know, it's just like, in other words, as long as you're not sitting there waiting like a long time, like 15, 20 minutes, if you can grab that $4, 425 order, get the hell out of there and, and just get it done within five minutes or something or 10 minutes. And then the algorithm will probably send you something better. Okay, because we're never going to figure out that algorithm fully, folks. We're just never going to do it. They're going to continue to do what they do, and we're going to have to just go, 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 um, you know, go forward with lawsuits and stuff, and then hope for the best down the road. But if we're going to maintain staying in this uh, this gig economy, we're going to have to we're going to have to compromise a little bit because you will you will starve and you will go broke. You just will. Um, you know, and here's, here's another thing, okay? Like, say, I'm gonna, say a 975 comes in, it's going eight miles, right? But it's got two items in there, okay? Is the likelihood of that 975 going to be more like 1125 when you, end it, when you end it? You have to start thinking ahead, like, okay, so I don't really want to take this because it's too long. See, these are the ones I was declining before. 975s going eight miles, right? But it was putting me in a good area, but I was like, nah, I don't want to do that. So I kept declining that, declining, declining. And that's money. Now, here's the thing. Yeah, you're going to spend probably three bucks in gas, but you still have the $6 that you were going to make, right? So it's kind of a seesaw, folks. It's a give and take. And I guess I'm going to have to give a little to, to get a little, right? But I'm not, I'm not abandoning my mission, folks. The mission is still what this channel is all about, is exposing the fraud and the lies of the gig app companies like Instacart, like Uber, like DoorDash, like Shipped, like Deliver That, any of those companies, you name it, I'll, I'll try to do something, a video on it. The only one I haven't done on is Grubhub because I, I, I can't get on to Grubhub. I wish I could. Um, but anyways, the point of it is trying to get you guys and gals better than fair wages, more than fair. You're, we're not even getting fair wages. We're getting mediocre wages. And one last thing is that the companies are catering to the people who are kissing their ass and taking all, all the trash. So they, they are, I mean, it, it's just, it's just the way it is. It's, the company is changing, it's evolving, and it's only going to get worse to a point. So we have to kind of change and evolve with it if we want to stick with the gig community. But that doesn't mean compromising your laurels or your morals or what you really, you know, fully believe in. Uh, and um, just be diligent with what you take, you know. And uh, that's about all I have for this video, folks. I appreciate you listening. I have other videos that I need to post that I did... If, a few days ago and just bear with me on it um I'll try to get them up in a, in a couple of days i'm not going to have anything up probably later tonight but i will have something pro uh, possibly tomorrow so with that said folks appreciate each and every one of you hope you write in the comments what you think um and uh i'll see you guys and gals on the next one take care